Okie dokie, we're back. And today I decided I'm going to do this fresh from the start. Showing you taping, tacking, flow trawl. So let's get going. I already taped part of this, but I wanted to show you. And these are just the inexpensive canvases from Michaels in the bundle. And they're usually on sale for $9.99. I just wanted to show you what I do on the backs before I get started. And I like to use the blue tape. Get this at Dollar Tree. And just make sure it's adhered really well. Now we take our tacks, put four of them on each corner, and just stick one up here, push it in pretty good so it keeps your canvas nice and sturdy. Over here, and one over here. Okay, turn it over, and we will add our flow trawl, our base flow trawl, flow trawl and paint, I'm sorry. Okay, let's get this base covering this canvas. Like I said, I just wanted to show you guys what to do from the start. Some of you may already know. Now, I'm going to take this off camera for a second, bring it over here to my box, and let any excess drip off. Alright, I'm just letting it run off into my little box of runoff paint over here so that should be good now like I already said I don't like using a torch in my garage <coughs> excuse me so I have a heat gun and it works just as well so let's get that out Get rid of these bubbles. See the bubbles popping right before your eyes. So that looks well for me. Okay. And today I'm not going to be using a hair dryer. I am actually going to be going back to my little leaf blower. Which, when I first started this channel, this was my most popular video. And I hope it continues to be that way. And I happen to use that near resin. And the on and off button has gotten stuck. But luckily, it got stuck on on. So to turn it on, I have to plug it in every time. So I'm plugging it in after I put all the colored paints together. So I noticed for some reason this corner didn't look even and I forgot to use a level so that's my fault. I usually do. So we'll just stick that little tube of paint under there for right now. straighten you guys up and let's see what colors should we go for <coughs> excuse me it's really humid out here in the garage so my voice 
was losing it. Alright. So, of course, I got to go with my cobalt blue. And I'm going to use all metallics again, like I did in the last video. I want to see what the leaf blower does with these. So, I marked all my metallics with an M and put them in these little bottles that I got at Dollar Tree. And I like these because they have a cap that stays on. You just twist it. So that's very convenient. So let's go with Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. We're just going to do a little smidgen in the middle. And then we're going to use Metallic Silver. Okay, metallic silver, twist the lid, and we're going to go over that, all right, and let's try, oh, we'll try a little dabber of purple, Add a little purple in there, and how about some blue, it's just artist all metallic blue. Oop, might help if I unscrew the cap. It's the nice thing about having the screw on caps, you don't lose them. Okay, I'm going to do another dollop of the cobalt blue. Now we're going to put white all around the outside of that. blow over and I see some bubbles so I'm going to get my heat gun get rid of those little bubbles okay plug in the little leaf blower stuck on on Let's see what this little powerful little guy is going to do with the metallics. Ready, set, go. Alright. Let's come back down this way. And let's start blowing it out. See what we get. Go this way. The last couple of times I got something that looked like the shape of a butterfly and one had fish in it. And it looks like this one's coming out like a butterfly. Very cool. It's looking like a butterfly. Looks like an upside down butterfly. Oh, cool. Let's bring this guy down a little bit more. Very cool. Up. Put the camera. A powerful little guy. Let's bring this side in a little bit. Make it look more like wings. Let's bring this side in a little bit. Let's do this one.
as many cells but so maybe they'll pop up but I still like it pretty let's see I'm gonna unplug this and play around with this all right let's see if we can bring in some little antennas Which way? Get a bubble there. Let's pop that bubble. Let's see if we can bring in some antennas. Oh, there's some cells coming up right there. Now, let's see. We can bring some antennas up here. I think it's a little head right here. Let's bring this over here and make him have a little head. Okay. And we're going to bring this side in a little bit. Let's bring this in. You know what? Let me use the blower. It'll look better if I do it with the blower. Let's plug it back in again. Okay. Staying in the camera, I don't mean to. Pull this out a little bit more. more control with this than you do with a hair dryer. Bring it up here. Oh, that looks pretty. Wow. I like it. I give him a little bit more of a head up there. Alright, let me unplug the leaf blower that's stuck on on. And let's see. Let's give him a little bit more of a head. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Let's maybe pour do it in purple. A little bit right there, a little purple, and a little bit of silver. Let's make that his body. Let's see what we can do with that. All right, bring that right down in here for his body. Neato. I like this. I'm really liking it. Now that's a body, but he still needs a little head. Little tiny head. He needs a little tiny head. Now let's see. What are we going with? Purple? I need to have a little bit of purple on here. I'm going to put a little purple on my stick. Again, I'm just playing again today, just having some fun. 
You know what? Maybe I'll make him some eyes. How about some eyes right there? Ooh! How about some purple down here? It's your painting. Do whatever you want with it. I'm going to get a little more silver and bring it all the way down. I'm going to bring this up. I'm just having fun. Let's bring this over. And this over. And then we're going to bring the silver right down through there. Silver and purple. Let's see how that looks. To me, it's so pretty right now. Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay. Let's bring some silver and purple. A little teeny dollop of silver and a little teeny dollop of purple. And we're going to try to stretch that down. Make him a little tail. Him, her... Okay, ready? Ooh. A little bit more silver right there. How's that? A little purple? Yeah, why not? Just a tiny bit. Okay, get our stick. And let's go down here. Is that just too cute? I want some more purple in here. Let's bring some more purple. More purple. A little bit more. Let's go up and down. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Look at his little eyeballs. Oh my gosh, I might have to get a pin and put a little dot in the middle of those. That is so cute. That's what I like about this leaf blower. You're a little more in, like I said, you're a little more in control with it. I'm going to wipe my hands off. So I'm going to take you guys down and give you a close up. So pretty. Oh, I love what I did with the body. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, how seriously cute is this? Look at the little eyeballs. And the antennas. And the body. So cute. I hope you like butterflies. Can you tell I do? Let's get a close up of these wings. Oh my gosh, I really like it. Well, I hope you give me a thumbs up on this. And subscribe. And hope you try this out too. Appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Okay, I couldn't end this without showing you the heart. In case you didn't see it in the last video. It has a heart. How seriously adorable.
Our butterfly has a heart. All right. That's it. Thanks again. Bye-bye.